Hello YouTube, uh, I'm putting together this video for um, a small project that I did where I converted my electric uh, 10 ampere Greenworks lawnmower to a battery powered one. So um, I just want, I want, I thought I'll de demonstrate how to, just in case if you have a lawnmower like this lay, laying around, uh, what you can do and what you cannot do. So uh, I happened to buy this lawnmower uh, when I just bought the house. My budget was limited. I had put in like a down payment. I'm sure like, you know, there are a lot of first time home buyers um, who have faced this. I went to the shop, for, saw like lawnmowers that start from 200 to like whatever. Okay. So to my wallet, it sound, this one was a fit one. Um, this was 10 ampere i didn't know what that was but it looked neat like you know like a green works like you know it looked kind of uh, okay so i bought this and i have a fairly decent sized lawn which is like a 120 by 60 lawn and to to do the lawn moving i had to i landed up buying like this huge cable so that i could reach all the ends <laughs> You know, the initial half, it was okay, kind of, you know, it was new, so fine. Um, but later, this um, was not that fun because it used to take close to like two and a half, three hours to get the whole lawn done. Um, you know, first of all, the whole, uh, the wires, the extension cords would be entangled. And once you get that sorted out, then you've got to run it across, you know, you have this Let's say if you have trees, it gets goes around, so to come back, you know, whole, the whole lot of things. I, I'm sure, you know, you would know whoever has gone through this. I mean, at the end, I landed up buying a good one, like a Husqvarna Honda powered one, which is like self propelled But in the interim, I thought, what to do with this? You know, should I sell it off? Maybe like for fifty bucks. Uh, but even before I thought of buying the Husqvarna, the gas powered one, I thought of buying like a battery powered one because I thought that's good, uh, you know, it should help out um, with less noise, no gas and all. Um, but I eventually landed up buying the gas one. But what I did was I converted this to a, to a battery one. I mean, it's fairly simple. It's pretty much straightforward. But the beauty of this is... Um, I somehow like this lawnmower, you know, the way uh, they have built it, like, you know, green around. And I was, I was, uh, it was tough for me to sell this thing off. Uh, it was very sleek, nice and sleek. So I thought, let me do something with this so that I can save this and use it um, again. So my advice to you is after this video, please do not go out and buy electric one and do what I did uh, to convert into a battery. This video is intended for only those people who have one lying around or maybe who find one on garage sale for like 10 bucks and want to do a small DIY on how to convert into a battery. So um, I hope this video is helpful. So what I did was... Uh, the smulcher, the mulching bag, um, it didn't, it was, I, I never used to use it. So I used to, I, what I did was I kept, I purchased a small battery. This costed me like 30 bucks. I don't know if you're able to see it. Um, it's this big and this wide. It's just in a Y to fit into this. Let me see if I can get a small torch or something. I'm making this video because I'm going to wrap, I'm going to close, it's winter and I'm going to close this and I'm going to disassemble it and put it aside. So I thought maybe somebody who is like, so you see, I put in this small interstate battery, uh, which I found for like $30. Uh, it, it has a fuse inside and it, it fits very well. If you have this kind of a lawnmower, uh, it has this uh, lid over here. You know, the lid over here. And it fits into that. 
so you can like i could actually open this and you know the light is limited but i hope you understand and i can just pull the battery out and do some kind of a maintenance whatever i need but i saw some other videos on youtube where the guy had placed the battery here and it tripped over and you know i was like really kind of thing and then i run in this this huge 4 gauge wire um to a 1500 watt energizer power inverter okay and over there i hooked up this thing just like a regular uh thing and uh, i mean i tried with different uh, oh shit I tried with different uh, power inverters but uh, like I have one over here I tried with a 500 watt power inverter um but um, but since this being a 10 ampere nah, it didn't suffice the power so I landed up using like a 1500 one but I'm not sure if like uh, uh if a thousand watt will do but to be in the safer side i i put in like a large one now um, as far as the performance goes it, it's really good uh, because i have this 10 by 120 lot and in a single charge i would say i could cover like two thirds of the whole yard mm, it's it goes very good Like let me. I mean, I'm I'm inside my garage, but I can still show you. So I powered on this thing. Um, I don't know if you could see. It's like it's showing 12.7 watt DC. And what I would do is I would start it like a regular. You know, on the battery. I try if I can juggle with a single hand. drains the battery a bit but it takes me to a good uh, 11 point uh something to uh, to have it gives me a good power mm. so as i said uh, if you go out to buy a battery powered one it generally comes with two batteries um i mean i could load like you know as many batteries as i could but just note that um, these lawn mowers since these are like electric ones they have they don't come with a very strong wheel uh, so i don't recommend piling up batteries over here just take it light um like a small battery will suffice like this is the one that you get uh, generally used for like um, i would say um boat or um you know the 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 handicap what the access wheels you know so those kind of things and it's like a deep cycle battery um and some of the times i found that um, yeah if it overloads then um it, uh, it this thing trips and uh, you know the power the unit go goes off so what i do is i don't don't go really really fine on it like i generally keep the settings either on 3 or 4 um but if i do a two which means it's trying to really consume a lot of energy and this may run for like half an hour but if i do it on three it gives me like a real good even shape and uh, it runs for a longer time and so i like this it looks uh, neat so you know i hope i could use it for some more time and uh, um for a quick uh, lawn for a quick uh, trimming I I think I can use it uh, so that's what I plan to do make sure that you use a real good uh, four gauge wire four gauge um and 
I have like I I bought in like a small battery charger like the Black and Decker one. Um, and I have two of these pins. So when it's um, back over here in the garage, I just put in the red positive and the negative. But I also landed up making um, a dock so that um, I put in some terminals over here uh, so that once it docks over into the, just like a Roomba, it docks, it automatically charges, but that I don't have it right now. Um, so because I have like some space crunch and I thought I'll do it manually outside. So, you know, you could try something like that. So thanks for watching. Mm, keep doing something new. Thanks. Bye.